Hi everybody, here's Christian from the Teamwork Cast. And this is Marcellus. And this is uh, Netrun Teamwork Cast. This is the hardwired draft. And this is the third round of Swiss, the final game from this uh, third round in this entire tournament. And with me through here is uh, Marcellus, who's also playing on the left side. Indeed it is. And on the right side, it's Kirby again, who now plays bzzz, very green. And on, uh, so you are playing the NBN card, which is, uh, what's again, the no. strategic something, strategic no. information dynamics. Know. Information dynamics, all, all right. you need to know. All right, so the abilities are information dynamics. If there's more NBN cards installed uh, or rezzed, uh, then you, whenever the engine is scored or stolen, you, you get it, uh, there's a tag that is being created. Yeah. And the runner gets it. I mean, it. it's, it's something. There's not really many cards that I mean, it says on your mat, it's something. Yeah. Yeah, and and that's exactly how I feel. <laughs> all right, so all and, the time. And Kirby is—he um, will be playing a bzzz, and we already saw bzzz so many times. I think have we seen? Oh, we have Wyvern also as well. The like Wyvern and bzzz is the only Wyvern and bzzz. And on Corp side, we saw everything but the Jinteki. Yes, that's true. But well, there are only yes, yes, yes. There are only. Uh, four corps and yes. in three rounds we can only see three different yeah, obviously so so much we can we, we had, we had good, good for, good vari var variants on the corps for the people who are interested the Jinteki one says whenever you uh, or if you have more Jinteki cards res than any other faction when your turn begins you may swap two pieces of installed ice swap two pieces of installed so ice so this is interesting to basically okay, okay. protect you res like one really uh, big thing and then put it on your scoring remote one turn Score it, mm -hmm. then put it back on the um, yeah normal. Yeah, I think it's samples. also good because you can start playing this positional ice like charm and stuff like that. Yeah, and of course uh, we have the Kovax, which is the criminal guy who removes a tag at the beginning of his turn, which is underwhelming. Oh, man. All right, so you install a card and you play the um, paywall implementation, paywall and I took a credit. Mm -hmm. And I, well, obviously I signal there's nothing in HQ, Imp. so run it. I get a credit. But well, he's getting an imp, and right. I get a credit from Preval implementation, and now he accesses one card. And he can imp it. He can imp it. Mm. He decides not to imp it, but I still no. discard it. Wow, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's an amazing effect. This is amazing amazingly effective misplay. imp. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of blown away by this. The pizza is starting to work, I see. Mm, yeah, yeah. In your stomach, well, it's, it's I mean, it's, he it's said corrupting. he won't imp it, but I just somehow assumed he would, so it's still away. All right. Um, the, I guess it's a this disadvantage is, this is a for thing me that because happens. I'd be more flooded. Ooh. Zona soul shipping. Mm -hmm. So every time he gets a credit on there, and he can use a click to get every credit back from Zona soul shipping. That's pretty good. And there's a pet campaign, and this one he's going to imp. So, so Zona soul shipping is none of those cards nobody plays. Yeah, but it's like if you compare it to like technical writer. Yeah, but you can. Take a credit triggers all the time. But sometimes it doesn't trigger. Hmm? But sometimes it doesn't trigger. Yeah, sometimes. Some, uh, mostly it does. And Zona Soul Shipping is just once per turn. It's 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 more consistent. <laughs> well, but you want to install programs hardware anyway. I don't know, I like it. I think it, may, it might be interesting to play this in Geist. Yeah, uh, anyways. yeah, but you don't trash it, so you don't even draw a card. You just click it and get the credits back and it remains active. Oh, it's, it's trashed? It does not get trashed. Oh, uh, right. okay. Anyway, I install something in the remote and advance it. What might this be? John Masanori. Yes, he's chatting with babes all day and giving you attacks if you uh, do an unsuccessful run, although he gives you a card draw when you make a successful run, which happens right now. And this is Ahibara, or what? what uh, Akabara? Uh, Akihibara? Ayabata? Uh, Akihibara demo. Akihibara demo. Ayabata. Ayabata. Take. All right, so the, never mind, that gets trashed. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So now the imp is empty. And. Sports Hopper! Yeah! And you love kind this of card. Hardware, I think. Love this card. It's a cool one. A really cool three, uh, three credit um, hardware that uh, uh, gives you a link and it, uh, you can trash it to get three additional cards. I think we're going to see this instead of Blast Creed in a lot of decks. Yeah, particularly in maybe things like Andromeda, where you've got the base link and then you get a tool link to trigger things like either Cloud Suit so good. or um, Underworld Contacts. So in good. the meantime, I scored an efficiency committee and got three agenda tokens on it. So you can use the counter to get two clicks and click and use the counter to get two clicks. So basically each counter is a click. But I cannot advance what? anymore. Why is everybody playing this? What is... <laughs> All right, so well, we have to... Well, you can prevent the... 
Trashing of Imp. Yes, I, he can. He has a sacrificial construct here, um, <laughs> and so hardware, and can he? No, he cannot prevent the sports upper from being trashed. Yeah. No. All right, so... <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why did, Why did you res it? Why did you No, I didn't it? res it. I wanted to check what it is and it was uh, too fumbling. And I just installed another ice outside of it. Just to make sure. <laughs> yeah, that was my initial plan. Butterfingers. I, Why, well, didn't, why didn't you res up your centrals? Because he has the, the Zromas Nori. Well, because I've got the paywall implementation. Oh, that's true. And um, I've got no agenda in hand, obviously, because I don't protect it. And it's, Come at me, bro. Give me the credit. It's fine. You can have the card. From John Masanori, I don't care. So now Shul Sh Zul Shipping is getting the credits, that's good. And he draws some more cards. Yeah, I think it was another imp. He's got all the imps. Oh, uh, yeah, I also had Which it. would be it, it, awesome it, with imp. Wyvern. Yeah. I had also an imp, but I choose not to play the Wyvern. Hmm. Yeah, well, if you cannot use the Wyvern right now, Wyvern... Uh, no, no, no actually, identity would do anything. Actually, right. my last turn, I think, I switched to Wyvern. <laughs> no, I, I switched to Kovacs. That's because I could. <laughs> okay, just for the lulz. Is, is it Kovacs? Kovac. Like a check name. Boris Cipher or Cipher. Because there's a cyberpunk uh, uh, novel which has Kovacs. Oh, it. really? It's called Altered Carbon. Okay. You should check it out. It's a really nice cyberpunk novel. All right. All right. So meanwhile, uh, yes, there's some, some, some thinking going on. Uh, not much, uh, but you are in a good position with those three counters there. Is there some kind of fast advance you can do with those? No. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, I can just use them to basically install advance and then gain a lot of credits. Yeah, for example. Um, so basically using the tokens after I install. There's always things that you can do with the crew. And so I just, just don't care about my HQ. Just put up the remote and yeah. get money from Sweeps Week. Yes. And... Uh, Kirby is complaining about his card draw. He's saying it's a bad joke. Uh, at the end, well, he, show, he shows me like what's the, at the bottom of his deck, and I I can relate. I would have been right, pissed right. as well. Well, he did discard the the logos, which I don't know. Yeah, I, that would actually help him. Yeah, I mean, it would be maybe one card <laughs> in this entire game, but that's okay. <laughs> Oh, he still he still can't get over your the game the first game that we played against. If you haven't yeah. watched the first game, you have to watch the first game. Uh, that was such a close game, game number five from this series. Um, yeah. uh, Discussions going on. And there's lo and our host oh, you, now you have to retell the story of the, how the first game went. Sure, it, it takes some time. Hmm. Um, but Gideon just uh, reminded Kirby that winning a game on the last click is a tautology because when you win, it's always on the last <laughs> click. <laughs> oh, Gideon, <laughs> a programmer's mind as always. Yeah. Uh, all right, so HQ interface. That's good. That's good. It, did he actually pay for it? Right I don't now? think he did. <laughs> ah, now oh, he now he pays. But only two. But that, that, no, no, I think he just installed the issue to be so free. I think he did, demo yes, and demo, and demolition run now, so he trashes both of the cars you're gonna see. Paper cool. wall and archive memory. Cool. No harm done. That's how you win, Kirby. <laughs> but, but, come on that issue interface for free. That's pretty hefty. Uh, that's four credits, man. He, uh, well, you know, we all made mistakes in this tournament so far. <laughs> Indeed, so, everybody did. So maybe FOX didn't, I don't know. Right, so there is. Uh, is it my turn already? I think I'm I just don't know. thinking, checking my eyes on the remote. All right, checking the eyes here. Oh, oh inside advance. On. What might be there? We didn't see any rest stuff at all. Uh, no, and you didn't rest anything, so your ability doesn't trigger either. <laughs> yeah, but. Well, the, Kirby didn't really run on anything but that HQ, has eyes. Yeah, yeah so. Maybe he starts now. Hmm. <laughs> he's thinking. I mean, the situation is terrible. He's got yeah, not a lot he, of credit. He clearly is not right. All and right, second imp. Rim. I like I didn't trash the old imp. It's like, whatever. Yeah. Maybe, you know, there's Running HQ, uh, uh, predictably. There's, he draws a card, I get a credit. He exits one card and he trashes my toll booth. That's, that's a good target for the imp. That's nice, yeah. 
But I've got no, no cards left in HQ right now. Nope. So, two more clicks for Kirby. She just takes credits. Credits! Credits for Kirby. Let's see. Let, what kind of agenda do we have here? Any PD, I would say. Nah. You don't have any PD? Medical breakthrough, man. Oh, Best nice. Agenda ever. Nice. Again, this medical breakthrough. Again, mm -hmm. we figured out that this that is. That card is not in the remote. It's just my HQ card. It didn't take a fourth click here. Okay, okay. It's, okay. it's just lying Just there. making sure. It's just your HQ. Yeah, yeah. All right. She actually yeah. runs on HQ, though. And and oh, she know me. Yeah, that's going to get an imp. Rightly so. Otherwise, if I put it on HQ, he's just dead. <laughs> yeah, better do that. Well, he wouldn't be dead. It depends on how much money he has. Well, with two credits, he would be dead. Yes, yes, he would. So now he's All taking right, Zula's Zula true money. He's still got no breakers. He didn't trash it? No, because it's not trash. Oh, it's, it's just not trash. It's even better than Technical Writer. Yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Technical Rider just triggers multiple times a turn, and with Haley, I'm currently playing the one with uh, Cash. Multiple times a turn? How many do you have? Uh, uh, so right. he's running RD. Mm -hmm. And it's our good old friend Archangel. Uh, we love them so much. So he installed the Sherman uh, to break barriers, but it's not a barrier, the, it's a code I'm, gate. Yeah, I'm just checking because he's got one link from the Sports Hopper, uh -huh. and he could equal the trace. Yes, he could. But, well, do you have some, something I want to balance? Maybe you could bounce the HQ interface. Yeah, and he doesn't link the trace. No, well, HQ is empty anyway. He says he's any. He, there's no card right now in HQ. Yeah, at so, all. so so there's you know, good targets for this anyway. I just want to get rid of the Sherman because I think okay. I installed a barrier somewhere on the. So remote. he doesn't fight the trace actually. And all right, so get a credit stays. for this. I think I did. I, did I take the credit? From I don't know. Uh, all the misplaced. <laughs> but man. Right. HQ is empty, nothing to check there, imps are empty, and he's discarding a paintbrush. What? Alright. I'm dr just drawing cards. Drawing cards, drawing yeah, cards. Yeah, I mean, because you cards. want to see the agenda, because... I want to see a medical breakthrough. I yeah, just, that would be great. <laughs> I just want to install it and say, well... Yeah, bam. And a hedge fund. All the monies. He run, runs HQ again, yeah. because if I saw an agenda... Let's show you, show you the cards. And oh, it's an Archangel, oh, and I, I could counters. trigger it! But there's nothing really I want to bounce yeah, right now. Yeah, it's like it doesn't really matter. Right, and it's an Ichi in addition to that. I mean, you could bounce the one with the imp, so we can install it again. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened to Heinzel on Worlds. Yeah, he had his only card installed a cache. And he just read through Archangel, cache gets bounced, install, run again. <laughs> cache of <laughs> It's just this noise, this is terrible. You can sometimes exploit it that way. But like, it just oh, do you the Zona did, did pay it after all. So, and he exits a card. And he takes it. Oh, you, because you ran. Oh, man. He ran on RD, and that is going uh, to be the. Again! The scored by the team. runner. Ah, corporate sales team. That's a card. <sighs> Such a fun agenda. But now he got a tag, which he just cleared right away. Alright. Because now I had just <laughs> one card exactly rest. And got out the Zona Soul Shipping again. I just draw cards. Did he have enough on clicks for this? On two. And now I install something. Yes. And oh, it's on. Uh oh. You think it all? Is it on? Uh, it, if it's an agenda or if it's a medical breakthrough, it's on. Alright. If it's not, it's not. But he's. Just checks Running HQ, HQ, sees two cards, Archangel again, again. Oh. <laughs> and woo! That's this, um, what is that card? Device Diversified Portfolio. It is, so you would get, get credits depending on how many servers yeah. there are, but this doesn't really matter right now, you have only one server. Yeah. And um, You didn't trigger the Archangel though. No, I I want to be safe for shenanigans and there's nothing really I want. He runs the breakers. He lets the trace fire and... Bam! <sighs> There's really not good things that you can bounce here. Like Zona Shul is the best. Zona Sonori, yeah. All right, sure. Nothing there. Two more mm -hmm. clicks. Mm -hmm. oh, this is looking grim. This is looking bad for him. Yeah, Elia doesn't, doesn't have any breakers. Kati, all right. Drawing. 
And Triple advance. It is a medical, breakthrough. medical breakthrough. Wins this so game again. Good. Wow. That card is so good in draft. It clearly it is. And oh, here's the third an, one. Yes, I drafted three of them. Oh man, you could like fast advance the third one, right? Yes, the last one is just instant advance one score. Yeah, we remember that one draft where this guy drafted five of those. Yeah, uh, instant advance score. <laughs> what? <laughs> install score. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on Sunset City Grid, install score. What? <laughs> <laughs> or you can even basically install advanced score, insta score. <laughs> <laughs> you can do uh, that. It's crazy. And you see, I just show all my all the what? archangels. How many are, oh, Jesus, three toys. <laughs> this is this uh, is some crazy stuff here that you just yeah. drafted. Well, I, re I I think I just realized um, that there's no really good decoders in the draft. There's yeah. just force of nature and striker and peacock and they all suck against those eyes and therefore if you just have all the high yeah. strength code gates you really are a pain in the ass even though the runner might have all the nice uh, magnum opus or what kind of economy so yeah yeah i mean nice. this is generally like a like a, a theme in a lot of the drafts that it's generally very difficult to get code gate breakers uh, and it's very easy to to create a secure server if you can get a code gate out and stuff like that. So yeah, you watch out for those code gate breakers if you do some draft yourself. We had a lot of fun with this draft. Yes, certainly. I really can just tell everyone try it. All it's this, this new design space with the draft identities is so much fun to explore. Mm. And um, people actually played Monolith in the US when we drafted it. Yeah. Um, and we had saw to, uh, to, uh, toolbo uh, Toolbox. And Toolbox. Toybox. No, no Toolbox. And uh, Tollbooth. Tollbooth. To to yes, oh, yes. Toy, tool, TB. Toolbox. TB. TB. T oh, no. No, <laughs> better, better not to be. <laughs> TB 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, so we saw those those um, kind of consoles being played. So that's, that's interesting. So there's some... Uh, uh, and grifters? Man. Grifters? Yeah, I mean, if you can stack them. Or if you can just, like FFOX, and stack those technical writers, you just game effectively three credits for an install which mm. is huge and a draw and if you can really leverage your corp identity like um, Kirby did in the mm. HB game mm. you, you're at such an advantage in that's the game. true that's true and I really like that there are so many ways how to annoy the runner or annoy the corp I mean all the fisks against anyone but HB the game would have been over like two three turns ago because there's just no more cards to, uh, to draw on the mandatory draw um, this is really powerful or uh, once you've got the opus it's and the breaker suit, it's so hard to protect your uh, servers from access from the runner. Yeah, it's, it's um, really exciting. And then there's fast advance with yeah. of light possible. Yeah, yeah. And ah, awesome. I really like drafting so much. All right, so check out the, those draft packs. I will, I guess they will come up in the, in the shop soon. Um, go, yeah. But uh, these were, of course, like a preview from that we got from Worlds. Um, so yeah, this is it. We're gonna move over to some kind of other tournament in the future. I hope you'll join us next time around. And as always, we are going to hack the planet! Hack the planet! Shut up and get in the car! <laughs> Shit on me. This episode of Netrunner Timor Cast was created with a generous support from our listeners. If you enjoy the show and you can't get enough Netrunner videos, please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash hack the planet.